Ooh. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to poker, everybody. If you're just joining us, <laughs> imagine if someone was telling you about a terrible, terrible accident that had happened. That was the first heat. Uh, I expect to see more of the same in this heat. So, uh, what, was however, the, what was the comparison you made? Uh, the first heat, it was exactly the same as the Vietnam War. Yes, but it was not the exact same because, like I said, that the Vietnam War started off fairly slowly with just a few troops and then gradually built up to the horrors of the Vietnam War. I'm saying that the first heat was right from the off. It was it, the, was, it was village getting napalmed. It was fucking awful. Reverse that was Vietnam the first War heat. is what was going on. I, I already lost the, the, the will to live from the first heat. But this heat should be interesting. Uh, I think there are some players that are actually going to be quite good. I've already got my selection for players that will probably make the last three. Um, so yeah, this is going to be this. I hope that this will be a slightly better heat. There are some unknowns. We should be uh, some, some we should be placing some bets numbers. of our own here. Um, as yeah, we didn't really didn't make too many calls on the first one, but let's let's see who's uh, who's in this next round. Oh, I cursed Ozzy. Cursed Ozzy because I said that. From my pre-game chat with her when we were setting everything up, I thought she knew what she was doing. I was wrong, Tom. I was very wrong. However, Niles, he does know what he's doing. I play poker with him. Look at his face there. He looks like a poker player already with the cap and everything like that. Came to play. If you zoom in as well, his avatar is Schwan. Schwan the Dota player. I'm pretty sure that's Schwan the Dota player. A uh, very that's famous that's Dota player, if you're a Dota oh, fan at all. Oh. Uh, Bo, very good at Hearts of Iron. Scum in Hearts of Iron, to be quite honest with you. I think Sorry, he might be secretly good at poker. Most of the Danes day. are. Xylus, I have no idea about his poker skills. I couldn't you tell you. Spiff is a smart lad who understands how to find exploits. Uh, Booth has played enough now, but she's also sort of middling. Alex, I remember doing well previously. Um, so he could be a secret, secret squirrel here. Mousy is terrible. There's no two ways about it. She's, she's <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nal Nalzi, oh, he, he plays. Nalzi plays a lot of look poker. Look at that hair. Yeah, he goes for Nalzi it. knows what he's doing. Look at his face already. I called, yeah. This is someone who has come. He has come to win. He's going to be yeah. very upset Zyla, if he doesn't Zyla, take Zyla, here. thinks he knows poker, okay. and it, but he's very okay. eager and, and sort of wants to do well. I, I feel like Zylus, when he plays, if you look at him, <laughs> look at Zaz with his suit on there and his expression. To me, he looks like a guy. You've seen The Simpsons, Tom. You know Gil on The Simpsons? Which one's the Gil? The salesman that occasionally Yes. Gil is the salesman, who's basically Jack Lemon from um, uh, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. That's the character. So he looks like a guy. If he doesn't sell you this car, they're going to fire him and he's going to lose his house. He's in big trouble. He's got that kind of desperate eagerness about him that he oh. wants. And I think he wants it too much. As it is, Booth is up here with the jacks. Mousy has ace nine. The flop is five, six, deuce. Bo has nothing. I assume that uh, given the pot size, I think Booth must have just called or min raised it. She should bet here when, when, the, when the action gets around to her. Nobody else has anything she could take down little pot to start the game with. Okay, well, yeah, let's see how they go. Uh, so, right, so bets on. Bets on who's going to take this. Are we saying Nalzi, Spiff just, Rambler? Honestly, I'm just distracted by Mousy. Look at that hair and makeup. She looks fantastic. Imagine having hair like that, Tom. Obviously, for you, it's not a problem. You've got hair. But to me, if I had hair, I would grow it like that. I would. It would be fabulous. I think that would really suit me. Look at me. that. Amazing. I mean, Xylus's hair... You know, that's kind of not that dissimilar to my hair before I lost it. Bo is just wearing a fucking UN helmet. Nazi's wearing a cap and looks like he doesn't care. Uh, Booth's hair looks fabulous as usual. Alex is wearing a hat, and I'm a bold fucker, and you're also wearing a hat. So best hair at the table clearly goes to Mousy. Just saying it. Mousy, great job. You may not win the poker, but you're winning the hair race right now. Great work. Good job. She is going to fold, I hope. Booth has let out with a bet here. Mousy's trying to figure out how to fold. She's done it. Well done. Good job. Oh, yeah. So we are going to go through the teething process that we've had every round so yeah. far, uh, which was one, um, of people... Um, Who's calling? 
people uh, learning how to play the game again because um, everyone was told he's got practice. Two, three, four, five, six. Are you kidding me, Tom? I told you the Danes are lucky. This is the Bo is. I'm, I'm, I predicted at the start. Bo is going to walk face first into victory by just doing the wrong thing and getting away with it. He's hit a four. He has the straight. There's no way Booth could put him on fucking 10 3 here. Who would call that? He needed a four and exactly a four, or he had nothing, and he's hit that four. I'm furious! I'm gonna say his poker face isn't. His poker face isn't, you know, on point at the moment. He's looking very, very pleased. Uh, very happy with himself. Uh, just He's just doing great. He's just doing great. I'm beyond furious. Poor Booth. She played it right, and Bo's just played it wrong and got away with it. My prediction, he's going to win the whole fucking thing. Is this going to be... going to get lucky. Is this going to be another Pedquin on our hands? Although Pedquin played with skill and style. Look at Alex grinning. Look at Mousy grinning. What's, what are you guys all grinning about? This is terrible. This is horrible. You're witnessing a crime. I hope, I hope Alex wins. Do you know what? He needs something. He needs something. He needs a win. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. No bets on the river there somehow with the straight. That's a straight. What is going on? Nobody bets. Did he just realize he got it? Just decided not to bet on the end? Don't fuck up. The best kind of, the best kind of straight. The one you didn't even know you had. He must have known he had it, but there was no betting on the river there. That's a huge pot. Yeah, take your money. Now he's going to figure out how to drag the money carefully back. You know what? I hope, I hope, as a, as punishment for that goony play that he got away with, that his his chip stack topples into the ocean. Oh, into the void, the never-ending void. If we if we don't have at least go. one good, cards. one good like you know fall of a chip stack, a good, a good old, yeah, I'd be so oh, sad. Yeah. Just one. I want to see like a stack of hundreds just tip over and yeah. they'll go phew, just disappear. Ooh. Uh, a pair of jacks. The jacks are going around to Nilesy now. Jack queen for Booth. Queen. There's a lots of queen playable king hands. Suited. Queen king nine seven six seven seven eight. Jack queen. Jack jack. These are all playable. Xylus is your first man out with Jack Deuce. That's the right decision. Let's see if Bo Bo will play any two cards here, and they're going to put him on. He has. The, yeah, here it comes. The, nobody's going to know what he has at any point. You know what? He's I gonna like get that. away with it. He's he's just here. He's playing no. some playing some poker. You know, I just want to see people just play some hands. I want I want people to exchange some chips. Well, as long as you're happy. Yeah, some... as as, yeah no, as long as you're happy, that, that that's acceptable. Nazi string betting is permitted. Don't worry. He's made it four hundred. Oh. This is the correct play. Okay, why why would that be the correct play? Why is you know just going on four hundred a good move here? Because jacks jacks are nice. But you don't want to see a multi-way pot with jacks. You don't want to be bumping into like a pot with four other people with jacks because if any kind of king or queen or ace comes down, you immediately start to doubt your cards. What you would like to do is take a little pot with them. If you do see a flop, maybe it's someone else will just sort of call you from late position and they call you because it's, you know, they just think, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. And as long as there's not a card higher than a jack on there, you're probably good, right? That's the way you're thinking. But what you don't want to do is being a pot multi-way with jacks because it's too easy for someone else to have a random ace or a random king. Yeah, random, random and immediately your hand coming up. Yeah, so you want you've got to be careful. So Bo's going to see this with his queen king. Let's see, uh, queen and the king come down. And we're going to get and... pot. Queen king versus jack jack. That is an eight, a ten, and a three. Ooh. Prediction: There's going to be some betting. A nine is going to come down. Another jack's going to come down. Bo's going to somehow have the straight, which nobody saw coming. Nars is going to think, I've got trip jack, and he's going to lose all his money. Okay, I love that. Hopefully that won't happen. There are no jacks left. All right, so, all right, there are no jacks left. Other people already had jacks. There are no jacks left in the deck. Nars's hand cannot improve unless a nine and a queen comes. If it comes nine queen, Bo might think he's good, and Nars can get in there with the sneaky jack straight. Ooh. There is a nine. <gasps> we have eight, nine, ten, Jack. Nazi has an up and down straight draw and at the moment still the best hand. However, we have two hearts on the board, which means Bo has a draw to not just a flush, Tom, not just a straight. Combine the two into a straight flush. Unfortunately, there is no Jack of hearts left. He doesn't know this. Oh, 
But if a heart comes, he gets the flush and wins. If a queen comes, Nazi beats him twice because Bo will think he has the best hand and he does not. Oh, the jacks will make the straight. Come on, give us. Could be interesting. Give us a queen. That will, you know, we want some good. We want some good poker. Queen? No, it's a four. It's a brick. This is a big pot. It's 2,450 in the middle here. It is Bo to act. What does he do? He has nothing. So Bo Bo's on nothing, but. Is he still going to want part of it? Nazi's going to call here. He's got an overpair to the board. I think he's figured out that Bo was on some kind of draw. There's a lot of draws out there. There's straight draws. There's flush draws. They checked it down. The Jacks take it. It's a big pot for Nazi. Wow. Nazi's going to go far. So he's going to do great. Checked, yeah. When Bo checked, you might be tempted to make a value bet there. I think modern poker theory is that you value bet when you think you're ahead. But let's say he, let's say Bo checks, Nazi puts out 500, 800, maybe a thousand, and Bo shoves all in. Can he call that bet with the cards that are out there? It gets trickier. Could be a bluff, of course. But for your tournament, I think it's a tough call. So I think if the player in front of you checks and you can see the, you, you think you're ahead, you get to see the result just by checking. I think it's reasonable to just check there and Nazi's check. I'd be interested okay. to hear poker theory on it. But personally, for me, the cautious and I think conservative and correct play is to check and just go to showdown. You think you're winning. You win a nice big pot anyway. If you, the moment he raises, he's opening up the action again. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, so... Bo gets to act again. Shove over the top of him. So it gets tricky. Anyway, we have King Queen for Booth. She should take it here with a bet, but she's just calling. So you Action you mentioned you mentioned uh, that's like Actually, newer no, no. newer poker theory. So what is how is that yeah. different to like old poker theory or like you know caveman times? How would they so, have played that? What would they have done differently? No, it, it, it was pre-internet. It was pre-internet. So right, before the internet okay. came along, poker was very different. Poker was very different. Well, not and to then, be a, not to be pedantic, but a uh, yeah. you know cavemen they were pre-internet. Um, so they they would have played that <laughs> you know, a different a different style a different a different way. You're right. They would have played a very different style of poker. Okay. Uh, it would have been you know payment in like rocks, rocks. of course, rather than chips. You know berries. Uh, the highest card would be whichever card you can physically take to the the highest point. So the high card wins would be the guy who can climb a mountain because of course you know that was the best way to show off as a caveman was to climb a mountain. So oh, okay. The, the high I like card that. Was the it was physically the highest card. Right. And the winner got to hit uh, the cave women belonging to the other tribe on the head and take them off to their cave. Uh, so yeah, it was it was an intriguing uh, an intriguing game. Very different meta. Wow, to such the a one that we such a in the rich tapestry of history poker has. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is this is all great great to find out this stuff because I don't know a lot about uh, poker at all, and so it's really good that you can educate. You got any questions about the history of poker, Tom? Yeah, you just yeah. go ahead and ask. Um, Once the Bronze Age kicked in, changed it all. Then oh, we had chips. Oh, yeah, wow! You know suddenly, I mean? suddenly something worth but, betting for. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but the cards were made of bronze, which meant it was very heavy mm. and shuffling was a nightmare. So they had teams of slaves to do the shuffling for them. Um, but obviously bronze also had value. So the slaves would often steal cards by the end of a, a longer game in Bronze Age poker. There might be two or three cards left in the whole deck. <laughs> which is a uh, hard, hard way to play. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Luckily, there was no lead age. That the was really bad. Lead age. Yeah, I imagine they yeah. didn't they didn't pan out so well with their like lead Shuffling bowls and uh, you know lead Absolute toothbrushes. Yeah. Mm. Chips weighed so much. A chip stack could kill a man if it toppled over. That's how bad it was in the lead wow. age. Then once we invented plastics, changed everything. Chips were suddenly lighter, no longer lethal. The cards themselves are nowadays good cards of plastic, so that, that you couldn't defeat your opponent by smashing their cards into a pulp, and then if they disputed you know, what they had, you could challenge them to a duel. Okay. In the, the, the sort of uh, late medieval sort of era when dueling became a thing. Yeah. So if I said, if I saw your cards, you flipped them over and I smashed them with a mace quickly enough, you'd be like, I had kings. You'd be like, no, you didn't. You had seven deuce. You lost. And then it, you would settle it with a duel. Games love, took hours. Games, I love, really. love, love that, you know, because then you get to run into that great situation where you could have a deck of cards in your pocket. Someone shoots you with a pistol and it hits the deck of cards, uh, you know, or a poker chip. That's exactly how it went. 
Um, original yep. scale mail was made out of poker chips. Um, you know, the really yep, affluent they people, they would just stitch all their poker chips together and that would keep them safe. Just... That's right. The king queen takes it here. Mousy losing uh, queen six, not as good as king queen. Um, so the, the king plays. They both have two pair, queens and deuces, but the king is the higher card. So uh, Booth takes the pot. That's a nice big pot for Booth. Mousy on 2250. Nazi on 4,550. He's looking good so far. Okay, so I'm small blind, so you're big. How much did they start on? 2,500? 3,000? Something? 3,000, I think. Okay. I think it was 3,000. So. I love it when they shuffle the cards. That sounds. Man, you should. The you best should... dealers can actually deal that fast as well. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah. Sevens for Booth, Queen Jack for Mousy, A6 for Spiff, 10 Jack for Xylus, 6 7 for Alex. These are playable hands. Bo's hand less playable, but I'm pretty sure he's still going to play it. Once the again, lines, I believe I've gone up to 200. Big fan. Bo, you keep doing what you're doing. Like the UN, you want him to be involved anywhere he can be, right? Is that not a good thing? Have the UN. Keeping an no. eye on things. Have you ever played Hearts of Iron with him? It's the worst. No, does it's he play worst. the UN in Hearts of Iron? He's very, very good at the game. Takes extreme delight in punishing people who are worse. To me, he is the epitome of the internet troll. And uh, I hope he loses horribly. No. And it's not just because of that Hearts of Iron game. I promise. It's, it's not. I'm not, I'm not bitter. A... I'm not angry. I'm not. I, I am not bitter. I'm Spiff not bitter. has raised with a six offsuit. Ooh. A call from Xylus with Jack-10. A call from Bo with King-3. Nazi's out of there. Booth's in there with her sevens. This is a big pot. Come on, Rambler. Come on, Mousy. You don't want to be left out. Why Alex, you all, all put Alex, some chips in? You're getting five to one on your money, buddy. You've got to score. You've, you've got to score. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna, uh, gonna come, on. come on, Rambler. He I... doesn't know that there's one of the other sevens out there. He's going to fall. It's, oh. it's a conservative play. It is the correct play. You put it again. See, I could already just picture Alex. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure what I should do here. Oh, everyone's betting. I'm not sure if I should bet. That's that's the uh, that's the Alex the Rambler <laughs> that I know and love. Uh, and but he just didn't go for it. God, I wish. I wish he had played. Wish he had done it. Yeah, everybody. Mousy needs to call here, or she needs to fold. She's thinking, how do I do this? Put money in the middle. Drag chip to thing. That's one. Yeah, you're halfway there. Drag it over. <laughs> it's coming. Oh. oh it's fine. You know, it's 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 the early stages. Yeah. Tabletop sim, hard to do, and she's in the game. Love it. 385. Changes nothing. Bo gets a Seven pair of threes, uh, which is nice. Nice for him. That's a fun little treat. He's going to hit another fucking three, isn't he? Yeah, he will. Another three is going to come. Somehow he's going to win. Yep. Come on, Bo. You can do it. Right, Booth. You've got probably the best hand. Bet it. It's a big pot. Who is it to act? Uh, let me see. Dealer small blind, big blind. Booth. I think it's Booth to act next. Oh no, sorry. It's um, it's Silas. I think. I think he's checked all the way around to. Who is who is great? Ra I think Alex is is betting here. Alex, no, he he, he folded out, didn't he? Alex um folded folded from the um. Oh yeah. The pot. Why is so? It's come around to Spiff and Spiff is betting out with a six. Okay. I think that's what's happened. I think he's checked all the way around to the button and Spiff has now bet. It's on Xylus, I think. He's thinking. He's, he's making this face. Which is a bold. So uh, I'm kind of curious what's happening at the table because Nilesy seems very entertained by that 200 bet. He either, either enjoyed it or he didn't like it. He, um... I think because they all suspect that Spiff is just trying to steal. Right. Uh, what's Mousy going to do here? She has nothing, but she has two overcards. 
She's gonna call. What? How is this happening? Spiff is breaking the game from within the game. There are other human beings. He's not breaking a computer, Tom. He's breaking the brains of the other players. A five. Another five. This is a big pot. There's nearly 3k in the pot. That's like your starting chip stack. We're like five or six hands in and Spiff has just busted this game wide open. This is a huge pot. If Booth can win this... At the moment, she is... She's on track. Drag it! Yes, drag it! Drag that, yes! Although, come on, give us that Give us that three. Bo, you can this take it. so big. Come on, Bo, get that three. No, no, no. I think he's trying... Is he trying to change chips? Oh, They're all know. changing their 50s into other things. Okay. okay. There we go. It's, it's very satisfying, the chip, the chip change. All right, Booth is ahead here. Does she realize? Who is it to act? Wait, so it should, a... be, should be Silas to act. They're all laughing. What are they all laughing for? Colorblind mode right there. Uh, so is it Booth? Why are they all laughing? <laughs> um, give us a three. Give us, give us that three. Are they all checking? Can they see us? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think it's allowed. Then all those have fun. Only, uh, only play game. Oh, I'm checking. I'm checking. What is confusion? happening? Someone do something! I think there was some confusion somewhere. Another gets a five! Full house for the for the booth. Nobody else has anything. Oh well, Please you've got you've got a worse a worse full house for Bo, right? Yeah, but he can't think his three is good. <laughs> he could. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, what's gonna happen? Boof, Boof please, looks very please pleased. Please don't be afraid of the five and think someone's got quads. Please! Please! Oh, but if someone go. has an eight, they would, um, they'd price this. her out, right? Xylus. I don't know what Xylus is doing. There's a fold Oh, my. They're all going to fold. Xylus is Jack Ten. He's going to somehow win this. 600. No. Boof, I, there's no way Boof can fold this. I reckon Boof going to fold. She's gonna fold. Watch no, this. No, she song. can't. She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna play it. She's definitely gonna play it, and she's gonna yes, win yeah, big. Are you, are you, to all in on, are you, are you willing to go all in on this hand? Yeah, no, tell me, tell me when Zars is yeah, on, because that's what's happening. All in. He just stole no, it from first position with nothing. Wait. If you go all in, I'll go all in. Don't worry, Booth's got it. Uh, it, no, it's a, it's a lie. Everyone folded. Um, Zylus, Zylus took it. Perium. Zylus took it. Are you okay? Perium. Perium, we're going to send someone over to check on you to make sure everything's fine there. Perium, please answer me. What? Why? <laughs> okay. He's still he's still alive, everybody. He's still alive. Are they scared about quads? Oh, no, I put him on quads. What are you doing? <sighs> Christ! <laughs> just Mousy's up there. Just she's just loving playing poker. Just just having a whale of a time. Alex the Rambler, completely passive. If he'd gone all in, Tom, maybe. But he just bet like 500 into like a fucking 4K pot, and they were like, oh, and they ran for the hills. Wow. Nobody's got anything. Probably going to be three all-ins. <laughs> yeah. I think game one. I thought game one was bad enough. <laughs> okay, so which war is this? Which war are we looking at now? World War One. This is World, World War, War One. One. Okay, Horror just from the outside, never ending, oh, endless. No. People fly, flinging themselves to the top into barbed wire and machine guns. That's this. This is trench warfare. Okay, uh, so. That last hand, again, what, so. um, you know, Booth, Booth threw yeah, some stuff cases, in and you know it, Silas you had know machine it, guns all of a sudden. That was a, a new invention, right? Oh, cool. How could you have That known? was the final cavalry charge, and it somehow worked. This was like, Silas was oh, the so last you know cavalry charge point, in, in history. You point. know you know who was in the last cavalry charge, the last, in, in an active point. war? What was, what was his that's, name? That's who was I the like guy? Very famous person. Very famous. Fuck, I know his name. Former prime minister. Uh, yeah, that absolute scorcher. Uh, what's his name? It's not Churchill. 
Winston Churchill. Yeah. Was it? Winston oh, Churchill. Who was the who was the guy in the final Gary big show. big controversial World War One person? General Haig. Haig, that's it. Because uh, he always he kept, a field marshal, though. He was, but he always kept um one of those kept games. a unit of cavalry in reserve, right? And uh, even through World War One, and you never know. They weren't great. They weren't the best ones. I Not really, really the war them. for horses. I'll be honest with you. No, barbed wire um, machine that. guns. Pretty, pretty op versus the horse. Uh, I saw War Horse. Um, yeah, he did not like those at all. So did I. Uh, I saw, I saw the play. Really? I saw it in in uh, in London, Shaftesbury kid. Avenue. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and at oh, half time, nice. as I believe they call it in uh, in play terms, half we're time. all there in the bar getting our drinks. Half time, we're getting our drinks, and I said quite loudly to my friends because I was quite drunk at this point. Do you guys think that this would just be shit if it wasn't for the puppets? And they all were like. Uh, I don't have and every, several other there. people looked round. I know I'm right. If you saw the War Horse stage play, wow. be honest. Be honest. If there weren't awesome mm. puppets, you'd think this is wank because it was wank. This is it. Uh, it I've, was wank. I've met the the guy who uh, made made the War Horse play, Tom Morris. I've met him, and he he would not approve of what you're saying. Yeah. He would, he would, he would hate me, but he would publicly say it's just one idiot's opinion, and he would be right. But I'm telling you right now that the play I saw, yeah. Tom, was fucking awful. If you took the puppets out, yeah. but then the again, puppets were awesome. Puppets make everything better. But if I want to see puppets, like yep, yeah, exactly. Right. The point uh, is, he, here's my impression of the main character, right? Yeah, I'll play I, I can't remember the main characters, a Johnny or Tommy or oh, Dumbo oh, or something like that. The main lad from the West Country. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Joey. Dumbo. His horse was Joey, uh, so right? Just down we're gonna be, to we're down. gonna live forever, Joey. We can't imagine anything bad's ever gonna happen. I'm just gonna brush you and war you and give you out every day, Joey. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, a war has broken out. <laughs> oh, Joey, we're gonna have to go to war now, and you're gonna serve as the horse for an officer. And because I'm just a lowly Cornishman. I must do as he says, but don't worry, Joey, I'll brush you. And then Joey falls into the hands of some German officer who has a horse called Tops on! Ja, Joey! On Tops on! My two horse companions, we shall be friends forever! Joey! On Tops on! That was the play! <laughs> Keep going! I want... <laughs> Fuck poker, I want... Tyrion recreates famous plays now because that was amazing. How can you say this play was bad? That was so good. I was so into that. How does it end? Does the war horse get back to Joey? What happens to the German guy? Someone, someone finds the German guy, and I think I I, I, I saw it once. I Act it out. And I, if I remember Act right, it right, out. If I remember right. Act he it goes, out. Nein! You cannot take Joey! What yeah, top on? You cannot take him! Nein! <laughs> is he on my horses? And they were like, you're going down oh, now, Fritz! And I think they shot him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think he was Joey before the bloke died, and there was a cavalry charge. The officer was like, come on, Joey! We're going over the top! And Joey was like, <laughs> And they rode out there and a bunch of them were shot down. That's what happened. Something like that, anyway. Did they go back to Cornwall? You know, you know the funny thing is, after the, after the play, we went over the road to the pub uh, to talk about the play, and I was in there and I was doing my Joey! What's <laughs> top song? And the guy who played the German in the play was in the pub right behind me while I was doing in my Joey and Top Thought impression. Fucking A. Did you, did you become his like second after that? So just in case he uh, couldn't go on. No, we had a massive fight in the street. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, go. holy shit. Everyone, a big round of applause. You literally just got to see the hit play War Horse for free, uh, might I add. Um, and so now that money that you're going to save on a ticket, it's probably about £25. Maybe you want to really donate that to more? the Jingle Jam charity instead. Uh, Amazing segue. Nice. Um, you know, maybe throw that in. Yeah. Well, it's that's about what about what about thirty five thirty five uh, dollars. But you know, you get some games. Um, you get you get some stuff. You help people out. You literally just got to see War Horse for free. I bet you couldn't get tickets. You couldn't get tickets for twenty five pounds. And so maybe. I would say more importantly, don't use this. Well they, well, they don't need it's to now. Because uh, holy shit, the fucking the pure acting. So. Um, 
Uh, not that I want to move back to the poker because I kind of just want more plays by Perian, which feels like the best thing, the best thing I've ever seen. But um, Boken has lost a load of money. Booth's got a little bit extra. Mousy's down a bit. Rambler's losing cash. Uh, oh, Mousy's got aces. Rambler's got queens. Here we go, Tom. Oh, here we go. It's kicking off. Come on, Mousy. Oh, but Mousy's gonna put Rambler out. I don't want either of them to go out. I love them both, but Rambler is going to go out on this, this no, hand. He has her covered. He has her covered. He, he will still be left with 350. Oh, please give us like very a... Slowly can we get a king a king down as well so Nalzi gets involved? Let's get everyone playing. Give give Mousy a big old, big old stack. Stiff has folded. So it's to Xylus with deuce four. He should fold. He folds. Bo has nine deuce. He should also fold. He folds. Come to Nazi. Um, I think the bet is 400. He might call this with Jack King. He does. He comes around to Booth, who's sitting on 6 7. She should fold. Of course, she calls. Now it comes to. Wait, I can't see who's the great player. Now it comes to Alex, who's sitting there on Queens. He shoves. Oh, yes, Alex. Wow. He's all in. Damn. He's all in with his queen. Oh my god. So if Mousy folds this one, actually leave it. I am not even kidding. I am not doing poker anymore if Mousy folds these aces. If that happens, that is a promise. There's no more Warhorse. You're not going to get to see the sequel. That's the worst thing that's going to happen. Called. Okay. Praise God. <gasps> oh no, look at Alex's face. It was like a 1% change in expression, but now. Oh, oh no, oh no, what, what might he, what might, what might she have? I thought my pair of queens was very strong. Oh, come on, come on, Alex. Booth, you've got to fold here. Booth, you've got to fold here. Is she going to play? I'm folding. Right, okay, before we get the is really, really paying attention now. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let the dealer do the chips. Booth is folded, so 600. Alex should take back. <laughs> 350 <laughs> or, or whatever he had he had covered i think he was okay. yep he, he should match her bet he I think, keeps that i think Nalzi's, everything else goes into the pot nalzi helping them with their side everything else now all of this all the five everything goes into the pot here we go okay 10 4 8 no help yet Nothing. for the round Oh, Aces down. versus queens. This is a very unlucky spot for Alex to find himself Ooh, in. Ooh, so they revealed. Changes nothing. Okay. A queen and only now for Alex. He's got two outs. Mousy's very excited, very this into this. The aces take it. She makes a big pot here. She's back in it. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Is uh, my the loss of my Alex impressions? Is that mean I shouldn't be doing impressions of Alex? <laughs> uh, you know what, Mousy, you got some cards. Someone else got some cards. That was great. That's why I want to see. That's why I want to see some of this poker. Um, more hands like that. I want more. More clashes. All the chips to her cash. This is the tricky part. Ooh, we almost lost some 50. Very blasé with that with that drop down. Just tossing it about willy nilly. I like to use the term willy nilly because it sounds filthy. The willy nilly. Uh, yes, you are. Yes. Oof. Uh oh. No. No, that's incorrect. I believe Mousy put money into her change pot, and that went to Alex somehow. Did it? Oh whatever, leave it to it. Who fucking cares? So, am I? Am I just an idiot? You can, you can happily say yes, but those no, change pots. You're not an idiot. On on a regular table, I've 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 not really played any competitive poker at all. I have played like a dozen hands ever. Um, okay. Are those not like drink holders? You beat you beat me. Let's we forget. Are that's, they not drink holders? I thought those were like drink holders. Yes, they. Yes, normally that's what that would be. Okay. Yes, you would have a, a, an area of drink. Yes. Okay. Right. If you, if I sat down at a table and there was a cup like that, I would be putting my drink in it. Or perhaps right. if I was smoking cigarette out. <laughs> Are you allowed to smoke in casinos? That's what country you're in. Ooh. Hello there. Hello. I folded. Uh Okay, Jack Ace Rambler. Nice. Good. He's got he's got some cards to play with. Booth with a pair of tens. 
Nine Ace on Mousy, King Nine on Spiff, pair of twos for Boken, who is going to take the round. Yeah. Uh, that pair of twos, there is no way like Bo does not win this. Come on, Bo. This looks like a raise from Boof. She made it 600. No, nope, she's called. She's called a big blind. Sorry, Alex is going to call all in here. All right. If you're listening, Sam or Steve, when this round of betting is over, these chips all need to go into a side pot. This is what Alex can win. Okay. All right. The, these, because everybody's essentially got the same amount as, as Alex. And he's all, he, so he's all in. So you need to set these chips to one side. Any subsequent action goes into a separate pot. Please listen to me. They're not there, listening. They're okay. I hope Nalzi's there. Please. Nalzi is a consummate professional. Okay. He knows what's going on. No, you don't have to. We can make a very easy uh, Ooh, a nine, an eight, and a six. So Spiff gets a pair of nines. Still not super helping out, but... No other good things going on at all. If you want to bet, Nothing else. Nothing else is here. Right Please set those chips to one side. Please, uh, God! Uh, whose turn is it? I think, I think Niles is Sam! Please! You've got to communicate with Steve somehow! Don't, don't shout at Sam. He's got to run the whole stream. Sam's in there. The communication I've got. I'm He's typing in, in the chat yeah. furiously. Sam's in the gutty works of the Titanic right now, shoveling coal as icy water is flooding in. He's doing a great job. Also, he did bring me a bottle of champagne, so... Uh, you know, if you're going to say anything mean about Sam, fight me. I'm not saying anything mean, I'm just saying, please, for the love of God. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, please, be... please. No, no, we have to, because they're going to fuck this up. They won't. They won't. It'll be fine. Uh, Hello? Table? Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. The, the, the pot in the middle here needs to be set to one side, because that is what Alex the Rambler can win. Because he is yeah, the we know. We already have. We know. We know. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. The side part. Yeah, we're hundred percent. Thank God. No All right. No, no, I told you, Niles. He was on it. Niles is a professional, <laughs> and he is on it. Don't worry. Chamomile tea, Perry. Chamomile. Okay. No, that's that's part here. Is the Alex cannot win anything but this. Look, it's okay. Oh God. We're all right. You know, Niles is not going to let shit go down on his table. What we had in the last game, there was three and a half thousand chips just sat on the side because they didn't know what to do with them. They didn't know what to do with them. I just want it, just please, just nice and neat side pot. There you go, to the side. It's a side pot, Tom. It should be on the side. Now we are all clear. I think it's going to be okay. You know, it's fine. Would you Would you like to perform another play for us? Would that make you happy? Would that cheer you up? Well, yeah, I'm trying to think of plays I um, I saw Hamlet. With Kenneth Branner in it. Ooh. It's very lewd. Is there um, where he plays b bottom? No, who's playing bottom? That's not even that. That's Midsummer Night's Dream. Which one's bottom? Yeah, Hamlet has got Hamlet in. He was Hamlet. Mm. Could really throw a wrench in here if it's Essex Who? I'll, I'll give you my, my best. Yeah, Hamlet's speech. No, no, there's an auto thing show the cards. What we got? Period juices from Do it. This is how he did it. Oh, Alright, you've got to be very earnest on the to be or not to be. Because obviously, to be or not to be, that is a question. It's the most famous line in, in like theatre history. Oh, yeah. So you've it's got to been go, used like, all the time. Exactly. So you have to put your own spin on it or you're not real actor. So you've got to go. Or not to be. That is the question. And then you will go. Brilliant. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. <laughs> the rolling R. To take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing in them to die. To sleep no more and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that freshes air too. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep. Perchance to dream, yeah, aye, there's the rub. Number. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Okay, there's right. the respect right. that makes calamity of so long life. Please. For who would bear the whips and thorns of time? Yeah. Yeah, the oppressor's born. wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns. That patient merit of the unworthy oh, takes when he himself might his quietest make with a oh, bare bodkin. Scary, no? 
who would fardels bear not, to grunt and sweat under a weary leaves, life, so I, but really that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose uh, born no old. traveler returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to others that we know oh. not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickled o'er with the pale uh, cast of thought and enterprises of great pitch and moment (laughs) with disregard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Uh, Now that was pretty much how he did it. But, uh, you know, better, because it was Kenneth Branagh. Holy shit. Yeah. So please was, please tell me cool. you were reading that, and you couldn't, you didn't just, like, memorize all those lines. If you, if you, would, if you had memorized that entire, the entire fucking Hamlet speech, my god. I mean, I could, but I'm a lazy fucker, and I've got no memory. So, probably not. Period, that was amazing. You're a star. Wow. Can I say, I have good writers. In this case, William Shakespeare. Old Billy Shake. Um, Alex is out, by the way. Oh yeah, Alex is gone. Oh, Alex is out. Whatever. Fuck. I wanted I wanted Alex to do real good, but he's gone. Sorry, we were we were doing plays instead because apparently that's going to be a part of poker from now on. Every time we do poker, you know, you know, Tams and Greek. Wow. Actress Tams and Greek. Actor, sorry, Tams and Greek. She's really, really good. You will have seen her in a whole bunch of things. Did you ever watch yeah, Black Books? Uh, yes. So, do you remember what was her name Fran. in Black Books? Fran. So she was Fran in Black Books. Right? Okay. She is. She's a brilliant actor. She was in episodes as well, uh, which is also a really good show. Um, so I, I saw her in Taming of the Shrew, and she was fucking amazing. She is so fucking good. She is so fucking good. I'm small blind. For like them, how right? how hard it is to how hard is it to tame a shrew? I feel like not that hard. What do you need? Like the it's hard, hard the hardest it's thing hard. you've got to do. Oh, what really find a really tiny really whip? Really like you know that might be difficult <laughs> to get hold of, but I feel like you could. Um, Sadly, not a literal shrew. That would be a really interesting play. If the shrew's lines were just shrew exits stage left, <laughs> comes on stage oh, right, eats some cheese, cheese and hides under a leaf. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, I'd, I'd watch that play. I'm, I'm playing the shrew, in Tame of the Shrew, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry, Pyrian, we actually, we're getting, we're getting puppets for the shrew. Um, there's going to be 18 uh, people uh, manning the shrew puppet. Giant um, shrew. Giant shrew. What if the Tame of the Shrew was actually about a giant shrew, like a huge shrew that they had to tame, and we've somehow lost that aspect of the play because it was just assumed that everybody knew Tame of the Shrew. Yeah, they have to fight a giant fucking shrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because originally it was called Taming Taming of Shrewzilla, um, but they shortened it. Uh, we've lost that in the in history now. The fact that the, the shrew in Taming of the Shrew was actually a giant shrew played by a puppet commanded by eighteen people has been lost. William Shakespeare sitting in his grave right now. Shrew's too small. By the way. Spiff and Grit is on for a straight right, flush here if he hits the nine. Okay. He'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spiff, he Xylus does... would then have a, what he would think was a better flush with the jack. Uh, Spiff, Spiff needs to do well here because he is he's low on chips. He's broke. The man is broke. And really thought that Spiff was going to be going to be a bit more of a ringer here. He can still come back. I feel like maybe this is actually he's worked out the, the best way to play poker. And it's to lose early and then bet high later on and win big. He no, must have a system. No, that's not the way. I think he's the gonna... issue is that Spiff is good at beating computers. Poker is about beating people, and I think that's different. Oh. Um, and also, at the start of any game that Spiff breaks, it's all essentially even. At the start of a game, you know, like Civ, we all basically start with pretty much the same the same setting, which is you know we've got. One settler, one warrior, we build a city, you choose your land, you hope that it's all balanced, and then you can break it from there using the rules of the game. But the rules of poker are very simple. There isn't much room for breaking there. So this is actually the opposite of Spiff's game, um, because I don't think there's enough there for him to destroy. By the way, let's do some chip stacks. Sorry. I was just going to say, have they... 
Uh, no, no. Do do chip stacks because we. I'm not going to lie. I'd be distracting you a lot. And some people are here to watch enjoyable. poker. I mean, there's not been anything interesting happening. Booth has 5,500. Mousey's sitting on 2,900. Uh, Spiffing Brit is sitting on a thousand, so he needs to. So uh, Spiff needs to crack on. Xylus is on seventy-seven hundred. He's your chip leader. Bo has nothing. He's all in. He's all in. Uh, it's all in. He's on eight fifty, so he's gone all in. I believe Booth is calling him with five ten. She's she's called. She's put a thousand. I think. I hope Nazi Nazi knows what he's doing. So he said, "Look, just put a thousand in." It counts as a call. Uh, Spiff is out. <laughs> Xylus right, is out. What's Bo going to do? He's all in, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Now they need to, to see how it goes, and they need to take back so, no, no, no. Put the, uh, some money each. So he's put 850 in there. What they need is change and fast, because these are two calls. Okay. Boom. Don't worry. Nazi's, Nazi's on it. Yeah. He's, he's a pro. Yeah, Nazi's on the case. I trust. Um, I forgot that Nazi knew what he was doing. So, yeah, that's my bad. Uh, so I think we should uh, just mention, if you go to twitch.tv forward slash yogcom, you can watch this, but you just listen to the players, and you don't have to listen to us. There is an option where you can just listen to the game, and just get all poker all the time. We are definitely going to be going off track a little bit, a little bit here and there. There's going to be some distractions, um, but there's options, you know. I've got a monologue ready for you. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's long. What is the? But we'll see. Oh, okay. Do it and see if I can guess. See if I. We're going to play a new game. Guess that monologue. And... Okay. Now some people might say no, that's a movie, but this is a play. Started out as a play. I've seen it done on stage. It is also was made into a movie. So this is the monologue for that. Uh, oh, uh, Shrek Two. Are you doing the monologue from Shrek Two? I am not. Okay, shit. Next card. Uh, B movie. Okay, great. It is. It's not B movie either. Okay, next card. Okay, two checks again. Uh, oh, train spotting. I, wants, I actually wanted to go and see the train spotting. Riveting hand, I, I thought that would have been. Okay. I didn't know there was a play of it. They, they made a play. Apparently, it was very good. Apparently, it was very good. Look at us. So highbrow. Talking about plays. La la la. Look at me. A person who looks at plays. Uh, not just a nerd on the internet uh, complaining about new Warhammer releases. Um, Bo has so, this with the three, by the way. He's winning the side. Fucking Bo. Bo and those threes. Love it, man. Bo. My hero. Unless I've missed something. No, I don't believe I have. Bo gets some money, and the rest of it goes to the ace jack. A lot of people think the Booth has a straight. But that doesn't. That doesn't. Booth has a five. Three, four. Oh, she does. Sorry, my oh. bad. Yeah, no, no, she has a straight. Three, four, five, six, I missed oh. it. Stop giving the money to Bo! No, no, no. Stop giving the money to Bo! Sorry, my bad. Oh, yeah, that is a straight. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's my bad. Sorry, I completely yeah. missed that. I wasn't paying attention. That is a three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, shit. That feels bad. Bo, Bo got the... He even put the money into his wallet and then had to hand it back. The disgrace. Love it. Um, holy shit. Good job, Booth. Playing like a champ. Wow. Absolutely. God, Bo Booth and Xylus. Man, they have stepped up their game for this. So hard. They've been practicing. They've been practicing. Man, I hope we get those two those two into the finale. Bo, you're out of here. Booth is your new chip leader with 7850. Ooh, Booth. Okay. Bring, in, bring in the A game to this play, Booth. I'll be honest with you. Well my money was on Spiff and Bo because they they seem like the kind of guys that would win. Or or Nilesy. Nilesy is is the second is pretty short on chips. Mousy short on chips, but I expected that. Spiff is short on chips. Didn't expect that. Booth and Xylus tearing it up. Tearing it up, Tom. Is do you think uh, Nilesy's suffering from the problem of too good? He's too good and doesn't know how to play this kind of table. No, no. Um, I, I think in any turbo situation, which this is a turbo for anyone that knows poker, the, trust me, the blind stretch from this is like ultra hyper turbo because we have to finish this in an hour with seven players. So it's a really fast tournament. If you don't get cards, if you don't get lucky, there's nothing you can do. You can play brilliantly, but essentially there isn't the room to bluff because the chip stack that you've got relative to the blinds shrinks so quickly that you essentially don't have much chance. He did have a couple of pots he could have won earlier. 
But, you know, I think Z Nazi is playing it right in a way by folding when he doesn't think he has the best hand or, or can't win anything. The people that are going all in with like nothing and winning, it's brutal to see and you feel bad because you think, oh God, if I played my queen 10 then in the face of two all ins, I would have won. But the correct move is to fold. But the problem is in these hyper turbos, if you're not in these little lottery hands, you very quickly fall behind. Right, okay, and slowly just, you know, get uh, your yeah, chips Yeah, I mean, the chips blinds are just brutal, but you just lose your, your chips to the blinds. Yeah, like, the... you call pre-flop, the flop comes down, two people right, shove, you look at what they had and you think, shit, I should have called, but you still made, essentially, the correct decision over time, but in these tournaments, it, it's just such a gamble. It's just such a gamble. Are we Jack, on... six, eight. That's it. It's 500 and 1,000 for blinds now, or is it? Uh, let me see, what's yeah. the pot? The pot, I can't see the pot because obviously it's a side pot. That looks like 500. Okay, maybe yeah, I think we are on 500,000. Uh, the, the, the pot is big. Yeah. Nazi is all in here with 910. But because if he gets he that, if he gets that seven, right, ooh, see, that's a straight card. right there. Or, yeah, well, I get this 50 eight, nine, ten. Right? So he can, he has so eight, yeah. nine, yeah. ten, jack. Yeah, so a queen or oh. a seven will make uh, him so the straight. You you wow. Spiff cards, has king done. eight, so yeah, he's ahead yeah, just with a pair of eights. Nazi has to hit. Spiff doesn't. So that's where we're at. We've got ten, nine versus king eight, a jack. Sorry, a seven or a queen. There's a deuce that doesn't help. A queen. It's an eight. Yeah. Spiff gets trip eights. Oh Spiff God. knocks out Nazi. Oh no, sorry. No, Nazi still has, Nazi um, has some money. A bit left. Uh, Spiff doubles he, up. He gets, gets a bit of cash back. Pretty nice. All right, Spiff. Spiff is back in it on three K. He's back, back to a starting stack. Into the game. Uh, yeah, pricing out Nazi and Mousy though. They are both falling behind on the stacks. Ooh. That's enough to win. Right. And uh, just Zalas and Booth just tearing away, just massively in the lead. So yep. I'm the big one. Yeah. I'm excited. I think Zylus is someone who, who really blinds. wants to the win. The blinds are very big. Now. Yeah. What is the. Look at that. It's 500 and 1,000. Like oh. Oh, she's getting there, and I'm the same place. I'm, I'm the same around you. Ooh. That's a big blind. Mouse, mouse, he's doing all in pre flop. How much is that? 12,250. Is Mousey just going all in pre flop? Am I seeing things? That seems to be what's happening. So you know what? That's correct now, yeah? I respect it. I'm in for that. You know, bring some excitement. Uh, make make some entertainment here. Um, at the end of the day. You know, we're trying to we're trying to make oh, the blinds content. Oh, seven hundred and fourteen hundred. Sorry, wow. my bad. That's just the blind. Oh, Mousy, just go all in. She, she, she doesn't look happy about her five hundred chips. Just go all in, Mousy. She does not. I am going to go all in. Look at okay. her. She's got that rictus grin, the smile of defeat locked on her face. She's trying to smile through it. Big sigh there. She did her hair, did her makeup for this, and she's going to get knocked out. It's a damn shame. Oh. So it's 850 to call. As you can see, I put a lot of effort into my outfit tonight, Tom. Ooh, yeah. Stuck on a, the first t-shirt I find in the laundry pile that's clean. Uh, it is unironed, but it's a uh, shout-out to the Brudenell Social yep. Club. And 150, I guess. Um, right. People from up round. Brudenell! Uh, yeah, love love them. Uh, but I, I too, um, you know, put a lot of effort in. I realized my other shirt was, you know, must have shrunk yeah. over the last year somehow. It's gotten a lot smaller. Um, and so yeah, they just pulled they're on, they're on they're just no. pulled on a different shirt instead. And uh, my, my problem is, Tom, that I, I barely have to leave the house yeah, anyway, the but, but now I have even yeah. less reason. So I'm just like, oh, I'll just stream for like eight fucking hours in the morning. So I get up in the morning. On a Wednesday, my eldest daughter picks up my youngest from school, so I don't even need to leave the house at all. Boom. I don't need to wake up early to take her to school, because Mrs. F does that, because she's at home now, and she starts work at nine. So essentially, I wake up about nine, so I've had plenty of sleep. Don't, I've dropped my nap a lot of the time, unless I stay up really late. Uh, and then I literally... Oh, this is a... Nazi has a flush draw. I think he's going to bang it all in here and gamble. Come on, though. Mousy has a straight draw. Yeah, if a five comes, yeah, but that's yeah, not something you want to gamble everything on. Right, Booth so has killing. nothing, but she's betting out. I like this. Together. 350 <laughs> into a pot. Wow. Oh, okay. A lot. That is a very large pot to bet 350 into. That's 
1650 plus another thousand plus another thousand. So we've got 1650. About a 6k quad, I think. Something stupid like that. Mousy's going to bosh it all in. Because she's only got like 350 left. Oh, I see. So the bet was to put Mousy all in. Right. Oh, okay. Sneaky. Man. Booth, it's another you know, three that doesn't help any of them. Does not look Booth vicious, is winning but... with the king high at Ruthless. the moment, and there oh comes the ace. God. The king yes. takes it. It's ace, ace, three, three, okay, king. For Mousy, Mousy wins the pot. Yeah, oh, sorry, for Booth, time. Booth wins the pot. Yeah, Mousy doesn't. Oh, wait, if Nalzi's still in, then it's a split. It's a split between uh, Booth and yeah. Nalzi. It's a split between Booth and Nalzi. They both have two pair with a king kicker. Okay, so uh, Nalzi getting, um, getting a little healthy, healthy amount of chips back. Mousy. Uh, yeah. You were here. No, the jack doesn't count. The jack doesn't count. We can Threes, definitely say that. Aces, Mousy was king. here. I'm still technically out, yeah? Yeah, that's mine, right? Oh, the jack doesn't, jack play. doesn't play. It does. It's ace, ace, king, jack. It is ace, ace, three, three, king. Uh, ace, 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 three, three, three king. They, bo Ooh, they split so the pot between out, yeah? them. That's it. Just to confirm. Yeah. Mousy yeah, is out. All right. Fantastic! It's been great, guys! Good luck! Yeah. Bye, Mousy. Bye! Have fun! Goodbye. Goodbye, Mousy. Why are they giving all to Nalzi? No, yeah, he's right. But you guys have both have two No, that is incorrect! That is incorrect! Oh, shit! Wait, we don't have to pay. There's not another king. Ace, ace, ace. Three, three. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Jack doesn't play yeah. because it's ace ace three. Terry, I'm a fucking idiot, game, mate. Okay? I take it back from oh, earlier. No. I take it back, mate. You were all right. It happens. All right. Good, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, let's split this then. Thank so, how much is that? The, the Nalzi professional two, one, poker five, title one, has been uh, uh, removed let's, 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 now. Booth should take this 700 first of all. No, no, no. Oh, I, I made yeah. the same mistake earlier. It's easily done. It's, it's, it's split true. pots are a fucking pain in the ass. And then put all this here. It's gone. But that, that was a split. It's they, gone. They now he's, he, now he's reverted back to a basic scrub tier level. Total? Uh, 5150. No more. So, he's out. Two, he's gone. Uh, that's, uh, 625, I think. He's not. He's still in it. Yes. No, no, but I mean, you know, on my ratings, what's the lowest rating that we can give to someone? There we go. So 2,575. Uh, so we'll Leo. take that money out. He's, he is below Leo rating. Leo is now... <laughs> she may as well be in the top three compared to how high above she is now in the rating system compared to Niles Uh Fucking gone. Fucking dumb. Goodness. Sure. Let's oh, he just knocked his chips over. So it's all coming up. Steve, yeah. It's all going wrong. <laughs> like it's all 50s. Look at them. Put, change them into hundreds. Holy shit. Yeah. Please. On the, the floor. The this is a struggle. All right, we've got we're a gonna dramatic monologue for you. Let me have your attention for a Wait, moment. Me, so you're talking uh, about what? You're talking about okay. bitching so about that sale you shot? Some son of a bitch doesn't want to buy. Somebody that doesn't want what you're selling. Some broad you're trying to screw and so forth. Let's talk about something important. Are they all here? Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put... That coffee uh, down. Right, good luck, guys. I, Nick, Coffee's for closers only. Me, you think I'm fucking with you? I am not yeah, fucking with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray, and I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine. You call yourself a salesman, it's you a son of a bitch. You certainly don't, pal. Because the good news is you're fired. Yeah. The bad news is you've got all of you got just one week to regain uh, your job, starting no, tonight. No, starting with tonight's no, sit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have I got your attention now? Good. Because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize, Cadillac Eldorado. Anyone want to see second prize? Second prize, a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. You get the picture? You're laughing now? You got leads. Mitch and Murray paid good money. Get their names to sell them. You can't close the leads you're given. You can't close shit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal. And beat it, because you are going out. The leads are weak. The fucking leads are weak. You're weak. I've been in this business 15 years. Fuck you, that's my name. You know why, mister? Because you drive a Hyundai to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. And your name is your wanting. And you can't play in a man's game. You can't close them. And you go home and tell your wife your troubles. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. 
You hear me, you fucking... I'm gonna bleep that word. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing, Tom. And I'll show you what I Beautiful. A, I, D, A. Attention. Do I have your attention? I know you do. I know I do, because it's fuck or walk. Interest. Are you interested? You close or you hit the bricks. Decision. Have you made your decision for Christ? And action. AIDA. Get out there. You got the prospects coming in. You think they came in to get out of the rain? A guy doesn't walk on the lot unless he wants to buy. Sitting out there waiting to give you their money. You're going to take it? You're man enough to take it? Are you man enough to take it, Tom? That's the question. The greatest sales pitch in history. Look at this. You're going all in versus all in. Oh, oh my Let's god, that gave in. me fucking That's emotional queen whiplash queen. right there. Um, who's all in? Everyone's There's a queen. Silas queen. 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 takes the lead. Well done, well done, Zylus. There's a king, doesn't change anything. Zylus has got a double KO coming. There's oh, a jack, well changes nothing. Well it is the queen that takes it. I believe it is Zylus' pot. He's looking pretty happy. Lousy doesn't look super happy. I think we've got Zylus and, and, right. and Booth, and that's it. They're through to the final. Spiff is dead you. inside. And Booth. I don't know. Booth, I can't well tell. Well well it's done. just a picture. All around, honestly. Fucking A, play. Booth. Fabulous play. She's she's sitting on a big old stack. Eight two fifty. Zylus. Pull that shit out. Thirteen two fifty, dude. Thirteen two fifty. I think consistently well. Yeah, she did it. Clap 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 clap. Because yeah. like, because Booth didn't even get a wild just one lucky hand that won her the game. She just was sensible the whole time. Amazing. Actually, really, really competent play. I think everyone was pretty good here. There wasn't anything too, like too spooky going on to really like throw it off. Booth and Silas. I mean, the only upsets we had were split pot decisions and you know maybe Ooh. calling what hand won and stuff like that but that was it very minor i didn't see the same colossal boobies we see in the, in the first one I, there was i was very angry at the start i can't remember why i was no. very angry at the start no what, what was it i i compared this game to world war one I. I can't remember mousy folding the aces something like that right Booth folded uh, some big oh it was booth booth, oh, the, booth did the full house. she folded out yeah. of the full house yeah, um that's yeah right. she did fold the full out I remember that now. It you know seems what? like a she did that, ago. but she still made it through to the end. She didn't even need that, and she made it to the end. In a way, Tom, it's a flex. It's one of the biggest poker flexes I think that's of a, all time. That's a power play. Oh, a full house. Oh, the peasants might need this to get through. I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away. Win this with poker, poker brains and poker yeah, skills. Yeah, I don't. I don't need your easy hands. I'm gonna win on hard yeah. hands, and that is how yeah. Booth played this. Amazing. Amazing. Well fucking done.